chasing the police every single day. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? It's time to file some internal affairs complaints. Do we get those from you or them, or how does it work? Okay. Uh, two of them. That's a good, that was a great question. There should be a lot. There's two today. Okay, and then after I'm done, I call and get it sworn, right? Yes. Correct. All right, uh, and then uh, case number, I don't know. Complaints name, okay, so that's my name, right? Wow, that's a lot, Jesus. All right, I'm gonna sit down. Uh, I can use the room? Sure, okay, thank you, I will. Uh, yeah, I just filed two internal affairs complaints. I need to swear them out. I'm in the lobby. Okay, hold on just a moment. PIO Josh Taylor uh, violating my free speech on Facebook page. I got my ID. He admitted it on video. The uh, link to the video is here. Uh, there's tons of case law that says that a government page is free speech. So I emailed it so I made a copy of the email. I just know coming here. I'm swearing it out it's even better. All right.
each of the last four years, so so. 9940. Okay. So yeah, my writing sucks, so that's why I, like I said, I printed that out with it. So this is attached. So that, that basically says the same as that. Okay. But yeah, there's a lot of case law, the Trump case, everything. Admitted on video that, uh, wow, you are one of the lucky few. Are you recording? I am. Very good. So, and then I'm gonna know your name to, so I can get the video later? Okay. Yeah, he admitted on video hiding. Uh, uh, in my opinion, he admitted on video having trolls uh, strike me. Um, see, he said you can block links, that's not true. Uh, block swear words, that's not true. It, it's literally like me when I was here at night uh, out with the cops, you know, with my sign. It's, it's free speech. Okay, so I have every bit of this correctly. Correct. Violating First Amendment and free speech. Yep. Hiding people? Uh, hiding. So instead of blocking them, what they're doing is hiding them. They think it's legal, but it's not. If you hide it, like I told them in the video, if you hide me at the night out thing, that's it's called illegal detainment and kidnapping. It's I know it sounds like a stretch, but it's the same thing. How is he hiding you? So what they do is they I when I go on there, I can see it, but nobody else can see it. That that's called hiding. It is he's so preventing talking, other people from seeing my comments. Okay. So yeah. you're talking about public posts. Um, yes, yes. On the, on the, on the uh, Northport Police Facebook page, there's case law everywhere, including the Trump case. You, you can't do that. It's free speech. Yeah, that's why I said my spelling's bad. That's why I put the email with it. I emailed this earlier. So he's hiding posts and having people do false uh, yeah, f trolls. Yeah, yeah, in my opinion, I call them trolls doing false, con you know, telling Facebook, he's being mean, not f hurt my feelings, and then there goes, there goes my comment, or, there, or, or I could even be blocked from posting on your page, or I could be blocked from posting on mine. I could be in Facebook jail for seven days to 30 days. It's sad. Violated my rights. To false troll is that slings? Uh, or what's the uh, word? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, false troll flags. Sorry. Yeah, like I said, yeah, my spelling is really sad. Okay. And hiding some links and blocking server. Is it server or swear words? Swear words. Swear uh, words. Links and swear words. Fair game again. That's like I told him if I was out there the other day with the you know fuck the police sign. That's it's totally legal. Lots of case law coming from Trump. Okay, yep. Case, email, complaint attached. Right, right there, to correct. The okay. Yep. Okay, so your complaint is on Josh Taylor for basically Why? blocking you on Facebook, violating First Amendment. Correct. Speech? Okay. Yes. All right. And did you say you have a second? Okay, the second one is, I don't know if you heard or not, the, the Matt Pollan dog mall case. Uh, they actually, they tried to delete the video that he had on his, uh, on his garage camera. And uh, amazingly, they got it back. Uh, and I, you know, I, I don't know if you've heard, I've been following this case for a long time. <laughs> you look at the video and what they wrote in the report. Oh my God, Keith Bush and uh, Chad Walker lied their ass off, illegally used excessive force, so um, I would like the case, I already know it's been through IA, but as you know, also know with, uh, when there's new evidence given, um, 
it has to be reopened. And where did this come from? Uh, this came from, uh, I personally know Matt, I got a copy of uh, what his uh, court appointed lawyer got back on the hard drive and so I burned it here. Also, that's a CD, you can check it, that's not a bomb. That's a CD, Dogma. Okay, well, my question would be is, if his court appointed attorney had got a copy of that, why didn't he not submit it? Because right now, if we can put that in our computer, the question is going to be is what's on the disk? Is that going to be some type of malware or we don't know? Uh, that, so the question is, is where does that come from? So that came from me and uh, you guys have accepted it before and uh, so there, there should not be a problem. The, the police chief knows me, you can ask him. Okay. Um, Stephanie Gibson, who's fought your corruption for years, knows me. I would not give you malware, but that's where that came from. And if you didn't like that, there is links here also. Okay. Okay. So I, I burned it uh, and I did email it. So I have this email too because my there again my writing sucks. So so you know the writing again says we got new evidence. You know um, the, off of uh, Matt Poland's hard drive. They tried to delete the video. We got it back and it clearly shows uh, what they wrote on the report is false and uh, it was unneeded and uh, um, excessive force. So his court appointed attorney, attorney has this information, a copy of this? Yes. Okay. And do you know if he submitted it to the state attorney's Oh, uh, he did. Yeah, okay. I just looked on the website, so he did. Okay. So, so there's two ways you can do Of course, they're going to submit it to the state attorney, but I can also come in and give new evidence. Okay. And this is new evidence. And or if you don't like, if you don't trust that, which, like I said, I already gave you multiple names. People that know me, I'm not going to screw your computer because I don't want to get in trouble. So there is a link to it too. It's online. Um, you can get it that way too. If this is the link here. I would prefer to take it as this and let you keep that. Uh, I, I would. I'd like you. I want you to take this because everybody else has, sir. Okay. Everybody else has. Honest to God. Everybody else has if taken it. If the link it. is here, is there a particular reason why you want uh, to take a it? lot? A lot of people uh, want to back up, so that's why it's here. Seriously, sir. Nobody's ever denied one of these. Honest to God, I've done this for seven years. Let me just uh, let me call my IT guy and make sure that we're going to accept that real quick. Give me uh, just a second, and I'll be right back with you. You haven't, you haven't signed that one yet. That's right, we got to sign that. This one, this one's already done. Yep. You want a copy of this? Sure. Give me a second. Very right back. Here. All right, that's your copy there. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, this is the this is their copy. Okay, that's it. That's that one. All right, and I will take this and include it with the complaint. Any alternate phone numbers or just that one? Just that one. Nine one six two two five nine. Sure. Where's that? Two three. Okay. It is two two five nine. Yes. Sign them outside my presence. Can I uh, re-sign under it with an initial? I will gladly re-sign under it again. This 
separate it again here. This is the first one. So I can get copies of both? Yep. This one All right. This one. Right All right. You need the CD? Don't worry about it. All right. Get your copies of both of them. Mm -hmm. There's one and there's the other. And I'm sorry, to can't tell My ID's number right there, so now you know who took it. Okay. Any other questions? All right, that is it. You got the CD? Yep. We're all set. And all then set. how long does it usually take before they end the uh, internal affairs on it? How long do they have, usually have? Depends on weeder, their schedule. Right. And there is usually a max, though. It's like 45 days or something? There. I can't attest, I can't speak for them because it right. could be one of two people. All right. Uh, All right. Typically within a week or two, you should hear something. There you go. That's what I want to hear. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah, that video's a bombshell. I'm serious. It put it put it this way, tell the chief this. We already got a civil rights lawyer on it. That wants it bad. Okay. That's how bad. Right. He saw it, he's pissed. So All right, thanks for your help, man. Yep, you got it. All right. On October 16, 2017 at approximately 2,300 hours, I responded to the area of 21, Broncusi Avenue. In reference to a occupied burglary in progress call. The caller advised that, whom he identified only as Matt, broke into his house and is possibly on drugs. The caller continued to state, hurry up, get here. The subject Matt, who will herein be referred to as the defendant was ultimately positively identified as Matthew Poulin. While the caller was on the phone with telecommunications, the defendant exited the caller's residence and went into the street. OFC Walker number 342 and OFC Bush number 258 initially made contact with the defendant in the street. In front of this location, as OFC Walker was attempting to speak with the defendant, the defendant began to laugh and walk away from OFC Walker. OFC Walker advised the defendant that he was being detained and that he could not leave. The defendant then turned around and shoved OFC Walker. At that time, OFC Walker was forced to take the defendant to the ground. The defendant began to resist OFC Walker by shoving OFC Walker in the chest trying to escape. The struggle then ensued. OFC Bush yelled to OFC Walker to get off of the defendant so that he could deploy his department issued C.E.W. slash taser. OFC Bush deployed his department issued C.E.W. However it was ineffective in restraining the defendant. The 
Defendant was continuously trying to escape from officers. The defendant also attempted to bite officers while squirming on the ground and pushing officers off of him. At that time, I arrived and noticed the defendant on the ground while OFC Bush was continuously giving him loud, verbal commands. Along with OFC Bush, I gave the defendant loud, verbal commands to roll over on his stomach and to place his hands behind his back. The defendant then replied, fuck you. At that time, OFC Bush and I approached the defendant to attempt to place him into handcuffs. The defendant was yelling, rolling around, and not responding to any verbal commands. At that time, OFC Walker left from the struggle and retrieved K-9. Dutch from his patrol vehicle and brought Dutch to where the defendant was. OFC Walker gave verbal commands to Dutch to apprehend the defendant, which was successful. The defendant attempted to choke Dutch in the process. The defendant was still shoving officers off of him and trying to get away by squirming around on the ground, not allowing himself to be handcuffed. The defendant was yelling, and cursing throughout the incident. The defendant was trying kick officers, and grab officer s hands. Eventually, the defendant was placed into handcuffs after a long struggle. While in handcuffs, the defendant was uncooperative with the fire department, and would not answer their questions. After the defendant was transported to the hospital, SMHNP, the initial caller declined to pursue charges for the burglary of his residence and signed a complaint withdrawal. However, based on the aforementioned evidence, I find probable cause exists for the crimes of battery on a law enforcement officer, resisting slash obstructing an officer with violence and offense against a police dog. These crimes are described in F.S.S. 784.07, 2B, 843.04, 843.19, 3. These crimes did occur in the city of Northport, Sarasota County, Florida. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube. And uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.